Liberal Viewer presents. So I've heard that one of the big dangers of a three-way is that one participant will be left as the odd person out with the other two really more into each other, and that often seems to be the case on Fox News when a supposed straight news anchor moderates one of those so-called fair and balanced debates, as happened this week when Fox News anchor Petty Ann Brown moderated a debate about whether Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalib, accused of attempting the underwear bombing of a Christmas flight to Detroit, should be tried as a criminal or interrogated as an enemy combatant. On the liberal side of the debate, meaning the pro-civil libertarian side, was attorney David Reams, who actually got a few more seconds of airtime than the guy on the anti-civil libertarian side, who had some video connection problems, Cully Stimson, a former Bush Defense Department official. But the striking Fox News bias in this three-way was in the questions that Patty Ann Brown asked, all of which opposed the liberal position, beginning with the question she asked David Reams that you can see here. So uh, we have uh, some people saying that if you have uh, the plea bargaining leverage that you can get some information out of these folks, but on the other side, uh, you have uh, people like Senator Jim DeMint who said over the weekend, if we had treated this Christmas Day bomber as a terrorist, he would have immediately been interrogated military style rather than given the rights of an American and lawyer we probably lost valuable information. So what about that, David? Now, there's nothing wrong with that question itself, and confronting someone with a quote from an opponent is a common journalistic technique, but notice when it comes to the Fox News anchor's next question, she switches it around asking the anti-civil libertarian to respond to a quote agreeing with him, as you can see here. Colley Stimson, uh, Senator Joe Lieberman, chairman of the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs uh, Committee, says uh, this was an act of war. He should be treated as a prisoner of war, held in a military brig, questioned now, and should have been ever since apprehended for intelligence that could help us stop the next attack or get people in Yemen. Colley Stimson, what about that? Uh, so, Petty Ann Brown was definitely showing her bias in this three way, and that bias continued when her questions again became confrontational, even repeating a point from former Bush official Cully Stimson when she returned to questioning detainee attorney David Reams here. David Reams, uh, what about that? Uh, you know, Brennan uh, says that we, you know, by, again, uh, offering some kind of a plea bargain, we can get this guy to talk. But the fact is, he was talking back in the beginning, and then he uh, lawyered up, as Cully Stimson said, and now he's not talking anymore, and his lawyer has been very clear that he does not have to talk. Uh, but, you know, doesn't it make a difference when someone has a lawyer advising them to keep their mouth shut? Uh, now, I guess asking for a justification of the basic Sixth Amendment right to counsel that's enshrined as a traditional American value in the Bill of Rights is a somewhat legitimate question, but it definitely takes a different tone than the questions the Fox News anchor asked the other side, and that different tone continued in her follow-up question asking for a justification of the basic Eighth Amendment right against cruel and unusual punishments that you can see her ask David Reams here. David, to you again, uh, we just cited this Rasmussen poll, which states that 58% of those polled feel that this suspect should be waterboarded to get more information about him. What's your reaction to that? And with all those confrontational questions aimed at the civil libertarian, you might expect the Fox News anchor to end with something similarly confrontational for the other side, but... She didn't, as you can see from her final softball question to the anti-civil libertarian here. Colley Stimson, quick last word. Hmm, not quite as confrontational, and even though I've only shown you the questions and not the answers here, you can watch the entire five-minute Fox News segment at tinyurl.com slash fox3way, and if you do, you'll see the over 90 seconds of questions I showed from the Fox News anchor were almost twice as long as the answers from either of her guests, which means... I think that the anti-civil libertarian bias from Fox News was actually the main message, but I want to know what you think. Even when a news segment brings on both sides for a debate, can the news coverage still be biased because, as here, all the questions from the supposed straight news anchor favor one side? And regarding how guests should react when getting the short end of the stick, should civil libertarians, liberals, democrats, and those on the left refuse to participate and any more Fox News three ways until Fox News anchors are more fair and balanced in their affections? I, YouTube, you decide.